Yo, internet. Kind of a big update for the Fusion. I uh, see so you've got some boxes there. We'll show you what's going on with those. And some shiny parts down there below the Fusion's uh, engine bay. So let's check it out. All right, I started to get some of the wiring. A lot more neat. That's for the windows. And that's the power feeding to what will be the ignition panel for the windows and getting the harnesses I made kind of reorganized and jogging my memory on what I had everything because I really didn't label anything but I have a good idea of where everything went. All the power feed and this is probably 95% of the control pack stuff and I took the engine harness and laid it over there just to get out of the way because I really don't need it till that little guy is in here. Just want to show how neat I kind of wanted to make things. Got the power distribution box in there. The feed going eventually up to the kill switch. Comes kind of sneaks through this convenient frame rail area. And then I got a nice tie there. And it goes through a hole here. Shrunk wrap that. I'm going to shrink wrap all the ends that I didn't before. Because the wiring prior was sort of a dry run. And so I'm just gonna do everything as professionally as I believe I can. The issue that I've had on the Fox was using a standard, just a two post kill switch and the control pack, it wouldn't kill it because it was back feeding through the alternator and kept it running. So I got this four post one. It's the same one as I have on the Fox, oops. <laughs> but it has these two posts that I have hooked up to the ignition feed to the control pack. So whenever that's killed, it'll kill everything along with the battery and it'll work out real nice. I got that permanently installed. Nice shrink wrap. I can route all the main stuff and get going on the other side. One. Getting things also tidy. A lot of extra loom, especially that control pack. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to tuck that up nicely, but it's coming along. I had to get that stock grommet and put the engine harness through it. So, also got this today. Ooh. Brand new from Tasca to replace the, who knows what they did to that one. Also got an ARP bolt, because those bolts are torqued to yield. I've been guilty of using the same one uh, myself, but uh, the insurance can't beat it, so. Made a lot more headway over here. Got the wipers in, got the wiper motor, all the alternator, MAF harness, power steering harness. I'm getting this all about as neat as I can get it. Good thing there'll be a dash covering it up, but uh, that'll help my OCD a little bit by getting it a lot better than the driver. Got my tools ready, put on the balancer. I know there's <clears throat> installer tools for this operation, but uh, I've done this plenty of times. I only put it on enough so that the crank bolt catches enough threads to pull it on itself and with everything being pretty new it should be just fine. You can give me crap if you want but it's worked in the past and I'm sure I'm not the only one. One thing I did forget to mention is I got to put a little silicone in there to seal that keyway up. All right, so it is drawn as far as it can go. It started to turn the crank, so I'm just gonna, I have long enough arms, I'm gonna use the pry bar against those flywheel bolts and to hold the crank while it torques to 100 foot pounds. All right, that was actually easier than I thought. Uh, I really didn't feel like I was stressing those bolts out as much as I remember doing it that way in the past with other mod motors, but gave it a couple clicks of the torque wrench, boom. We're gonna throw on the belt and continue. So, on my way to uh, North Phoenix, on my lunch break to go pick up my parts for the Fusion at All Valley Powder Coating. Real excited to see how these things turn out and see them against the orange in the car and stuff. All right, here they are. Unwrapped, of course, I'm gonna cruise home quick. And uh, I am on my lunch break, so I gotta Kind of hurry up, but you know how that goes. So, all right, since I'm a little pressed for time, that's all you get for now until I come back. Fortunate enough that my house is on the way back to work, so now I gotta get a couple frog skins for my 
other parts I'm picking up for the Fusion today. All right, so it's after work and I just made the trek over to Variant Wheels. I think you know what I'm getting. You probably won't even see it in the photo or video. But... All right, there it is. Freshly cut Variant Wheel Xenon made right over there. And we're gonna see how this is actually done. What they actually do is they get their castings, they're cold forged, and then they drill any bolt pattern you want and the offset to fit your car just super minty. So this is the blank. Right. It's not bolting on anything yet. <laughs> this one right out of the machine. Is it? It's a leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> look at the <this> service <laughs> would you just look at it <clears throat> kind of eyeballed the fitment but uh i did have the gauge with the track back wheels that are on that other mustang i got uh so these are half inch narrower than those with about the same offset so by the time i compress the suspension it should tuck in there nice still have room to roll i know a guy who has that tool so let me show you some cool cap options i got Taylor was kind enough to get me some other stuff got some shirts license plate and the cap gives me a couple of uh, options here. So I'm not even sure which one would look good. Um, the gray, not too much contrast, so that'll be probably for the spares. Um, I really like the red. I'm gonna try and hold it up against there. I don't want the clip in. Yeah, shoot. So that looks pretty sick. Let's see if I can't get it out. Nice. And this kind of a gold bronze color. So also what's really cool is um, these caps have these inserts you can make your own colors with them too. So these are the blanks. These ones are obviously already silver. So that's really cool. These wheels are also really light for a 19 and uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna show you what's up with those little guys. If you go to their site and use the discount code back to the fusion, you get 10% off your order. So that's the first for me, pretty pumped about that. So give them a look, check them out, get some wheels for your ride. All right, like I showed you earlier, I got uh, all my parts that I needed powder coated back from All Valley Powder Coat. Subframe, control arms and headers. I'm gonna unwrap these things and see what's up. Oh, would you just look at this? It's been a big day for the Fusion. Uh, All Valley did an awesome job at a super reasonable price. Um, so if you're in the Phoenix area, definitely hit them up. I'll uh, leave a link. I'm not sure if they have a website, but I know they got an Instagram. Just get a hold of Paul and he'll set you up. He's kind of got some weird day hours, but it's definitely worth the wait. Uh, so those are high temp. Uh, I think they look phenomenal. You can see uh, Devin from GSK Fab's work there, and all nice and finished. And Stardom Fab's arms, Ooh. these are the same color. And uh, here's the subframe. Remember, I did have to modify that to fit the S550 rack. So this is it, boys. Almost ready to beat cheeks and get this thing all together. Get some rubber going. Should be moving 
under its own power in no time. Except this weekend, I can't work on it. Doing a little delivery to California, but uh, as soon as I get back, you know I'm gonna be beating cheeks.